What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Firstly, I'd like to apologize for my voice. Uh, I'm just getting over being sick and then my allergies went crazy today. So I'm gonna sound all blocked up, I apologize. But the crown is filthy. I've finally got a beautiful day. This weather is amazing today. Um, but something that I've told you guys in the past about the crown is whenever I drive anywhere, like around my area, there's a lot of new road work. So there's a lot of like bitumen and tar getting flicked up all over the paint. Also the aggressive fitment doesn't help that. So I have been recommended to use this. It's um, Bowden's own tar 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 something, tar remover. So we're gonna give it a go today. Um, directions say just kind of essentially clean the car, spray it on, blah, blah, blah. So I'm gonna actually spray it on, give it a chance to eat into the tar on the wheels and on the paintwork. It is paintwork safe. Um, and then I'm gonna wash the car and then I'll do it again. So I'm gonna give it, give it a fair go, you know, like give it two shots. So without further ado, let's get in and wash this thing. So I wanna show you guys what I mean. That's the spray from the, like the aggressive fitment. Um, and there's like bits of tar all mixed between all the dirt. And then it actually comes all the way up the car. There's tar there. Um, where was it? There's tar there. There's a bunch of tar here. It kind of sprays like just directly up the side. The other side is just as bad. So we're going to shake this up, give it a spray all across this, pretty much like from that chrome trim down I'm gonna do, there are a couple little spots above it that I will obviously do as well. Let it set in, it says for a minute, and then I'm gonna wash the whole car, and then I'm gonna go through, and anywhere that I can see it's actually like really bad, I will do it again. Um, I'm also probably gonna do some of the front bumper because I've got not only bugs, but I've got a lot of tar from just cars in front of me or whatever. So hopefully this gets it all off. Oh, also the uh, the wheels get get it pretty bad as well in here. So I'm gonna spray them as well. Hopefully it helps me clean them up. All right, so as you can see, cleans up pretty good. Um, but you can still see the bits of tar under there. Now, in that product defense, I haven't used it properly yet. So I'm gonna dry this then spray it and then with a microfiber go over those areas. But I have noticed already, uh, not on this side so much, you can still see there's some tar there, but on the rims came up really good. And over here, which is normally the trouble side, it's come up great. Like there are still a couple little bits, a couple little bits up here, I don't know if you can see them, but honestly, it's, it's really shocked me um, that it has worked so well. I'm gonna go through here, dry it, microfiber with the product, but keep in mind guys, after this, I'm gonna go through and wax the whole car, protect it again, because obviously I've just put a product on there that eats away at stuff. So obviously it's probably eaten away at my paint protection. So I'm gonna go through and do that as well. So I'm just gonna go away, do these little areas, clean the car again, dry it all, and then wax it, and we'll see how we go. All right, we're all washed and dried, and uh, this stuff is good. There's like one or two that are still there, and I guarantee if I spend a bit more time, I'd be able to get them off. But, ooh, that's how it sucks. Rims come up like new. This, like, I'm spun out. Like, again, one or two pieces, nothing crazy. And then this side's come up like brand new, stoked. And there was like, like a million little tiny pieces all across here, which you could only see if you were like face up against it. Got every single one of them off. Look at this. It's like new. Stoked. This stuff's great. There we go. I am cooked. Just waxed all of the side of the car where I use that product. Man, I'm really, really happy. Really happy that's come up really good. So far, all the products I've been recommended have been really good products. So guys, get on it. All right, so that is it for that video, guys. I just wanted to see if that tar stuff was really good because a lot of people you know, will say, oh, this product's great, and then you use it and you're like, what? Or they'll like sleep on it and be like, oh, this is okay, and you use it and it blows your mind. Now. I am burnt like a lobster. Um, it was the first hot day in Melbourne in a long time, and me being an idiot, I uh, didn't put sunscreen on, so I am cooked. Uh, my back is excruciating right now, but I did that for you guys, so you can see that this product's actually pretty good. So if you do have that kind of stuff, like tar all over your car, bitumen and stuff, like I'm talking like you spray it on, you can see it literally melting off. So it's really good, really good, but make sure that you do protect your car once you've used it, because even on the packaging, it recommends that. Just like tomato sauce, you're meant to put in the fridge. but. Thank you guys for coming along. I hope this video does help you and I hope you can get your cars a little bit cleaner. So if you like, please like, please subscribe and I'll see you all in the next one. See you guys.